Yo, what's up? It's your boy King Sponge, and I'm here with a video. Might be one of the stupidest ideas I've had. I might be here all night. I saw this ESPN post the other day saying that Ohio State has gone the most consecutive seasons in a row, being in the AP Top 25, whopping 56 AP appearances in a row, all the way back since 1968. So I'm excited to jump into this dynasty mode and kick off year one with the Ohio State Buckeyes with Will Howard and co. You guys landed my K-State Cats quarterback, Will Howard. And honestly, I, I believe he's got the, the makeup to be a solid draft pick. The challenging part of this video is that I'm, I'm well aware Ohio State may never drop out of the AP Top 25. NCAA dynasty mode goes 60 years. So um, if they're not dropping out of the Top 25 in 60 years, then... Well, enough jibba jabba. Let's hop into the dynasty mode. As you see on the screen, Will Howard, the man for Ohio State coming in this upcoming season in college football. We're going to sim the first year with him. Then he's got to go. And then I think Ohio State just also picked up a guy, Julian something. When Saban left, flipped it to Ohio State. And he should be the future for Ohio State. We're going to see how long it takes until Ohio State is no longer ranked. Preseason AP poll number three. We'll see where they're at at the end of the season. All right, you know I got to give Ohio State fans a little treat with a little bit of in-game action here. I'm jumping into our first week in the first season of this insanely long simulation, probably to come. Uh, but I got to show you all what Will Howard looks like as an Ohio State Buckeye and see what he can do. Henderson and a loaded Ohio State supporting cast around him. Let's see what Will Howard can do with his arm with a little bit of play action here. He finds an open man across the middle. Fleming is gonna go all the way. What a sign for Will Howard and the Buckeyes and what a sign for Buckeye fans across the nation. First passing attempt from Howard is a 68 yard touchdown bomb. You heard it here first. You saw it here first. Look for this next year in Ohio State football. Because one play isn't just enough for us to satisfy our Will Howard craving at Ohio State. We gotta keep running it back. Finds a man while getting absolutely drilled. What a play by Howard throwing it to Jaden Ballard on a second and 10. Look at this, getting nailed. Staying in the pocket under pressure, delivering a good ball. We're seeing all things that we'd like here in Ohio as we find Ballard again. All right, we got a man in the seam. It's Ballard again. Boom, Ballard again. There goes that man. Will Howard has a favorite target at Ohio State. Howard to Ballard for a touchdown. This is encouraging stuff, huh? You hear one in the books, and uh, would you look at this? Number one, Wisconsin. Number two, Ohio State in our conference championship week. Wisconsin was the only team that actually beat us in the regular season, so it is surprising to see them in the sim make it all the way to the end as a one seed going up us as a two seed. So Will Howard and the boys, man, we out here getting right 11-1. and one. We'd love to see it. Let's go ahead and advance the week, see who comes out on top. We lose again. What? We've lost twice to Wisconsin in, in Will Howard's year as a Buckeye. It's a little confusing to me. Uh, Sim is definitely meat right in Wisconsin pretty hard. It's okay. That's not the point of this video, how many natties we can win. I mean, that that's a cool side, side quest. But uh, ultimately here, we're looking to see how long, how long Ohio State will continue their run of dominance and greatness. And... Uh, Will it ever end? Only 59 years to go. <laughs> Ohio State dominates in the Rose Bowl and with a 12-2 and record here. I mean, would you look at that? Ohio State's still going to be the top 25. Bruh, we got a long ways to go. Number one preseason rank for year two in Ohio State Dynasty. Let's get on to it. Lose to Wisconsin in year two. That is Wisconsin have our number. Year two has come and gone and it looks like Ohio State finished 12th in the nation. Had a couple tough losses that we dropped. 
Uh, one got spoiled by Indiana and then lost to Wisconsin again. But uh, we're going to head to bowl season still in the thick of it for the top 25 and all those considerations. Let's see if we can beat Duke in the Duke's Mayo Bowl. <laughs> and we do. 38-31, two straight bowl victories in the first two years. Start of year number three for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Seventh ranked in the nation, a little bit lower than one. Six spots lower than one, to be exact. But uh, <laughs> nothing too scary or concerning yet in year three of the Sim. How long will it take till they fall out of the top 25? Or will they ever fall out of the top 25? You know, it starts to get to this point in year three where it depends on how well the AI is recruiting and how well they're recruiting for other schools, to be frank. So um, we'll see how long the ride can go. You're kidding me, man. We lose to Wisconsin again. What is up with the Wisconsin Badgers, man? Seriously, Buckeyes, four straight games against these guys. Credit, I guess, where credit's due. Come on, Ohio State. Let's do better. Williams from Ohio State finished second in Heisman. And it looks like we're going to the, I didn't read it, another Rose Bowl. Let's see if we can take home another Rose Bowl and add it to the hardware as number three Ohio State goes up against number seven Oregon. Oh yeah, convincing. 52 to 24, 13-1 in the season, Ohio State. Looking like a machine as per usual. I hate to say it, Ohio State fans, as much as it's cool and all, I'm going to have to start rooting for you guys to lose because I need to, like, go to sleep. All right, year four with the Buckeyes on deck. Look at that. Number one ranked Ohio State. This train is still a chugging, and uh, the steam ain't letting off anytime soon. So let's see what this year brings. Just because I was curious what Ohio State was rocking with in year four, um... 99.99.99. They ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Finally, it took four years, but we got Wisconsin. We got them. Let's go. It's the end of year four. We got Ohio State in the Cotton Bowl against West Virginia. Anyways, 48-27 victorious in the Cotton Bowl. That keeps the four-year streak of bowl wins alive. Year five is upon us. Ohio State ranked fifth in the nation in the preseason. I think it's a good time we can look at the depth chart. Uh, this is what we're rocking with in year five for Ohio State. This is a time where the whole simulation draft classes should be in full effect. So none of these guys should technically be real on paper. Uh, but Kurt Parker, six foot five senior, is a 99 overall. Wow, last year. Oh, sorry, I thought the 5,000 was last year, but still last year, 3,600 passing yards, 41 touchdown passes to eight ends. Great year. For 99 overall, Kurt Parker. We got Del Dallin Hayden leading the running back committee. We got Keon Grays, CJ Gooden, and Phil Gold. Top top receiver action there. And Sean Houston leading the tight ends. And yeah, some solid looking, some solid linemen across the board. A impact player at and both ends really. DTs looking fine. DBs, Brent Peoples leading the crew, Eric Carroll right behind him, Derek Barron, and Ke Kai Stokes are the safeties. So, uh, heck, this team looks as good as any other Ohio State team coming in at fifth ranked. So, um, I think we should just jump in, see where they land. Uh oh, time to hit the panic button. Week one, dropping it to Arkansas. Let's see where that puts us on the AP Top 25. We have yet to fall outside of it. We get right for one year, and then we lose in year five to Wisconsin again. The kryptonite, the bane to Ohio State right now. Oh my, just dropped one to Purdue in week 10. 30-27, they beat us. We were already four and three and 17th ranked in year five here. Will this knock us out of the top 25? Oh my, we're not in the top 25 anymore. Whew. If we finish the season like that, and don't get back in to the season. I believe that officially snaps the streak. End of year five, Ohio State battles back, wins a couple big ones against Michigan, and going up against Tennessee in the Music City Bowl. So um, the streak is still alive. They are ranked, 19th ranked, going into the bowl game. And we beat Tennessee 
38-24 in the Music City Bowl. So that's five straight years of bowl victories for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Start of year six, the Ohio State Buckeyes ranked fifth in the nation. So uh, had an eight and five season last year, a struggle for sure by their measuring stick. But this year looks good on paper again, starting off the season fifth ranked. Another year, another loss to Wisconsin. This time, as a one seed, we drop it to Wisconsin. And like that, year six has come and gone. Ohio State finished 10th ranked, 9-3 and three on the season, taking on Mizzou in the ReliaQuest Bowl. See if they can keep the six-year streak alive. And what do you know? Down goes Mizzou. 42-23, Ohio State gets their 10th win of the season and finishes in the top 10 AP poll once more. All right, looking at year seven for the Buckeyes. The Natty Championship has actually been eluding them. I, I'm surprised. Seven years into the rebuild. Thought we would at least have one of those by now. Week two, dropping one. Six strength Buckeyes drop a game against the Bobcats. That one took us straight down to number 20, so this team's got to get it right. Oh, no. We sim to week four and lose 10 to 38. TCU handles us. Is this the end? Ohio State supremacy, but you can have hope because the series doesn't end unless they're not in the top 25 at the end of this year going into next year. And as you see, one and two, not in the top 25, taking on number eight, Wisconsin. They've had a number every year except one year, but uh, let's see what they do this year. And we beat them. We beat them. Of course, we beat them. The year we're having one of the worst years, we beat Wisconsin, eighth-ranked Wisconsin, so um, <laughs> that's funny. Bruh, the struggles keep coming. Week six, losing to Georgia State, and the woes keep coming. Week seven, drop one, 21-42 to Penn State. We're quickly tumbling to two and four. Things are getting ugly. Need a bounce back second half of the year. Yep, it's official. This Ohio State team in year seven, man, Drops one to Iowa, 9-33. I mean, they were third ranked in the nation, so kudos to them. But this roster, this team, this coach, ain't it, man. Two and five. This could be it. Six and six, still good enough to snag the Duke's Mayo Bowl. Going up against the 15th ranked Wake Forest. And of course, the Buckeye way, we get the win. 31-17, beating 15th ranked Wake Forest in the Mayo Bowl can never count this team out and even with that win it's official ohio state is not in the top 25 at the end of the year i'll go ahead and, and do it a service and see what preseason rank they give us because i we were ranked in the preseason of this season so I, I i don't i think that still counts the consecutive year ap top 25 71 and 23 my career here at ohio state but uh 7 and 0 perfect bull record but it don't matter the chopping block is probably upon us if we can't get it right this next season year eight for the Buckeyes looks like someone on the AP poll really wants to keep the streak alive as Ohio State sneaks in 24th ranked in the preseason poll so year eight ends with a bowl game bid at the quick lane bowl against number 20 Central Michigan finishing 10 and 3 in the season uh, and then we finished 21st as well in the top 25 so the streak continues but man, Ohio State not living up to the former glory of just a few years ago. Oh man, all right. The streak snaps in year eight. We lose to a red hot 20th ranked Central Michigan team. The quick claim bowl, no longer in the top 25. So streak in jeopardy. If the preseason doesn't have us there, it's over. All right, you see that right. Year nine is on its way. We are preseason ranked 20th. I better show you all the depth chart before uh, my head's on a pike after this season. J.J. Walker continues the Ohio State way with a 99 overall quarterback. So uh, it's a senior here. Running backs, Mark Davis leads us. Receiver core, three solid juniors. So with some good speed. Year nine was a success for the Buckeyes. Seventh ranked in the nation. Nine and three, that's more like it. Taking on the 14th ranked K-State Wildcats. Uh, we're playing in the Cotton Bowl, so a New Year's Six Bowl here in Arlington. Let's get down and jiggy with it. Year 9, we get back to our bowl game ways. 
beat the K-State Wildcats 48-31 to in the Cotton Bowl. Big year 10 on deck. Eighth-ranked Buckeyes back in action for their 10th year of sim. Well, well, well. The Wisconsin Badgers get us again in year 10. Does that mean good or bad things to come? Ninth-ranked Ohio State in the top 10 again, taking on Kentucky in the Music City Bowl. So, uh, eight and four, I mean, not as great as Ohio State fans want, but still successful enough to keep the streak alive as per usual. Year 11 is upon us, and Ohio State is ranked number 11. So, number 11 for year 11, and there's a loss to Wisconsin. Is it time to hit the panic button? I, I don't think so. Three straight ranked teams, really good top ranked teams we lose to, and we're putting up a lot of points. Now, the defense, it might be time to hit. The panic button on seven and five on the season looks like we're unranked at the moment but uh probably just looking on the outside see if a couple weeks make a difference and you look at that ohio state no longer ranked not in the top 25 after a 75 season heading back to the duke's mayo bowl taking on georgia tech ninth ranked in the nation that should be a tough one given the 75 nature of this year's squad funny enough at the end of year 11, although we're not ranked in the top 25, Kyle Jones, our quarterback, 6'3 senior from New York, gets the Davey O'Brien Award, the best quarterback in the nation, with 3,996 passing yards, 36 passing touchdowns to two ends. So this man balled. And as you can see on the leaderboard, easy, number one, by 700 passing yards. And we lose big time, 14-51, to 51, Georgia Tech, top-ranked team on a mission this year. That's going to drop us to 7-6. and six. And uh, our job, we might be on our way out. This is scary. Our security was low already. We might get fired here. And uh, I'm interested to see if Ohio State is no longer ranked at the beginning of next year, and that'll snap the streak. Winning the Davey O'Brien, Kyle Jones could be a steal as he got picked up in the seventh round of the draft. Year 12, right around the corner. This is the moment of truth, though. I'm not confident Ohio State will crack the top 25 in the preseason. Let's find out and see if the show goes on or if the streak comes to a halt in year 12. Here we go. And we're not in it. Wow. Wow took 12 years it took 12 years for the streak to get broken in simulation years um, so that would be the 2036 to 2037 season Ohio State fans mark your calendars down for 12 years out because that's going to be a tumultuous time you guys are going to lose your streak of being in the top 25 for consecutive years so as it stands current day Ohio State has had a 56 year streak of being in the top 25. That is from 1968 to 2023. Add 12 years to that. That streak gets up to 68 years of being in the top 25, broken in the year of 2036 to 2037. Man, I thought this would never end, but there was a, a trend and trajectory downwards as other teams begin to recruit competitively and compete uh, closer to Ohio State's level. So, um, 12 years later, we're no longer in the top 25. Well, and just like that, that caps it off. 12 years of Ohio State Sim. No natties, surprisingly, but uh, about eight to nine bowl victories, a couple Rose Bowls while we were at it. Will Howard had a great first year, so that's something I look forward to, Buckeye fans. Um, the Sim, I, let me just you know put an asterisk on it. You can't take it at 100% base value. The transfer portal is not what it really is in real life now. Uh, and Ohio State's proven, you know, they can bring in some dudes in the portal as well as lose some dudes every now and then. But anyways, that's the nature of the beast today. So uh, there's a lot of reasons in a lot of ways, NIL included, right, that Ohio State can stay relevant, stay competitive, and, and keep this streak alive even longer than what the Sim did here. So um, hope that brings a warm comforting note to my Buckeye fans out there at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button. The support means the world. Much appreciated to y'all and have a great rest of your day. It's been King Sponge. It's been real and I'm out. Hey! Oh, I'm on my way. I'm coming.